to show you driving into the garage. Sure. An electric future won't necessarily change the way our cars look, but it will drastically change the way we feed them. For a fill up, take a standard cord, open this down here, and plug it in. For the majority of us, accustomed to simply pulling over at a gas station for a refuel, have a great day. The idea of plugging in feels full of unknowns. So this plug in here, yeah. like this other end, could just go straight to like... That goes, that's plugged into a standard 120 volt outlet. You okay. plug your hair dryer into that. It's okay. exactly the same outlet. Okay. Just in the U.S., there are more than one billion outlets. This car can plug into any of them. Okay. So there is no infrastructure issue. I mean, I'm happy to talk about it with you guys. Well, the question I always ask is, I mean, are you worried about infrastructure yes, with your laptop? I don't know. With oh, your no, laptop? No, no. I don't know. Okay, because no. I can charge it anywhere. And you can charge this anywhere right. too. Anywhere you can charge your laptop yes. or a hair dryer or plug in your vacuum or whatever, you can plug in this car. Okay, just plug it in. This is, you know, like I said, this is an extension cord. This is not the charger. We call it a connector. Open this, the light goes on. And then that, you know, like that. You'll hear a series of clicks. That's the charger talking to the nozzle, and then it goes on. The pulse gets slower, the closer it gets to full, and then it turns to green, and it's full. At the most basic level, there are plenty of places to charge an EV. But the bigger issue is how long you're willing to wait to get back on the road. If you live in countries like the US, Canada, and Japan, Level 1 charging uses the most basic household current of 110 volts. So while it's sufficient for charging tiny EVs, to charge a more conventionally sized car can take a long time. <laughs> Using 120 volts to fully charge most cars would take 8 to 20 hours. And for a charge-guzzling sports car like the Tesla Roadster, a full 30 hours. Thankfully, there are options. So this is actually our highest speed connector. It's a 240 volt, 70 amp outlet. This will charge the car from dead to full in about three and a half hours, or if you plug it in, it gets about 56 miles per hour of charging. the same socket. Yeah, because the charger's on board the car. Nope. So this is just a different adapter. That's not the charger. I always make that very clear. Using a 240 volt outlet is called level two charging. And while technically it doesn't require much more than simply plugging into a higher voltage outlet, like for a dryer or a stove, for safety reasons, it requires a special home charging station that makes it impossible for the user to be electrocuted, even if plugging in in the rain. You, we have installed this special box for the high amperage of 70 amps, but you can get a 240 volt 30 amp outlet and that's you, you can plug it into anywhere you can plug in your electric clothes dryer or a lathe or any type of like industrial saw or something like that. A 240 volt charger reduces most batteries in four to six hours, plenty for nearly all home charging. But when on the road and in need of a quick recharge, there's a level three option. And at 440 volts, it can charge most cars in 15 to 30 minutes. The public charging stations being rolled out on city streets, car parks, and supermarkets around the world will be level two and three. And it's estimated that by 2015, there'll be 4.7 million of them globally. But to smooth the transition from gas to electric, perhaps more important than the number of charging points, is our ability to change the way we think about fueling up, virtually or otherwise. When you live with a gasoline car, you're used to living this, you know, you, you burn all your gas and then the gas light goes on and you're like, oh my God, I gotta pull over and you take a detour and you freak out and you get spend 10 minutes like getting your shoes greasy with gasoline, okay. That's how you do a gas car and then it goes up to full and you don't worry about it again and then it goes down to empty. And so you live this life where you're either full or empty. 
With this car, it's very different because imagine if every single night when you got home, you had a gas station in your garage that took you five seconds, you know, because you're just plugging it in. You'd fill up all the time, right? You know, just like with your cell phone. You very rarely let it go down to zero because you can just easily plug it in. So it's very similar with this. So our customers are never going from zero to full. They are really just topping it off every night. I'll let you know that it's running and then uh, there's a little uh, light system on the dashboard that tells you when it's at 80 percent, 90 percent, and then 100 uh, percent charges. I mean with this car it, it acts just like a normal car you know except that you're filling it up every night while you sleep instead of having to detour to a gas station.